right, so today we're gonna go over uh, a comment that we get quite a bit on our social media channels, um, which is how do I store my Gorilla Grow tent? And recently we got one on how do I fold my Gorilla Grow tent and get it back into the original packaging, um, which is tricky, um, but easy enough to do once you see it done once. So we're gonna do that here. So first and foremost, you wanna make sure before you take down your Gorilla Grow tent, which hopefully will never happen, um, but if you do have to put it into storage, the most important thing that you need to remember is that it has to be nice and clean before you fold it up and put it away. That means the outside needs to be free of dirt and dust. The inside mylar needs to be cleaned of any nutrient residues or items that you are using for pest uh, or disease management. Those types of items can be pretty caustic um, and can be really hard on this mylar if it's folded up and stored with those materials on there. What we suggest is just a nice warm soap and water combination. Um, you want to take a cloth and just gently wipe down any of the Oxford fabric. And then on the inside, you want to make sure that you scrub all of those salts or residues off of the mylar first before you actually put it into storage. Another important thing to remember after you're done cleaning is let it dry first. I've definitely seen some people that have gone through the motions of washing with the warm water and soap combo, didn't let their tent dry out all the way, folded it up, and well, you know, probably know what happens next, uh, mold started to grow because you can't trap that moisture inside after you folded it up and put it away. So after you're done cleaning, I would let the tent sit for 24, maybe even 48 hours, let it completely dry before you go through the process of disassembling it, putting it back in its box and storing it. If all of those criteria are met, you can store one of these tents, no problem, multiple years, and when you pull it out of the box, it should be in the exact same condition as when you left it. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the same steps that you went through to put the tent up to take it down. So first, we're gonna zip off the roof. Remember when disassembling the tent, you wanna take the same precautions that you took when you were putting the tent together and don't fully unseat one corner of the roof without moving the other corners up because what that will do is it'll create an undue amount of pressure on this one seam uh, and you can cause damage to this corner if you were to just wrench this corner up over the top. So what I like to do, move those up a little bit. Now that the pressure's off of the rest of the corners, you can take this one and move it all the way up. And pull the roof down to the side. Next, you wanna take out your spill pool. This is gonna be by far the dirtiest piece in your tent. This is where your pots or your hydroponic systems have been sitting for months and there's usually a lot of salt buildup uh, from the nutrients or any of your IPMs on this piece. So this one you're gonna have to clean really well. Then from here, what I do is I start disassembling the frame before I fully unzip all these walls. So we're gonna start with the E and F poles. Then I come through and I detach all the A-poles. Then you're gonna take the vertical poles down. And a little trick that I do, unless you're trying to get all of the original pieces back in the box, is I will actually leave 
the corner piece on the B and C poles. It's just a small, you know, the, the corner piece is a small piece and it tends to get lost a lot easier than the rest of the tent. So I just keep the pole like this, the top ones on the C pole, the bottom ones on the B pole, uh, and I store them just like this. Then at this point, what I'll do is I'll take the frame and pull it out of the bottom. The bottom isn't as deep as the top, so pulling a single corner out does not create the same stress that it does at the top of the tent. And I'll take off the A poles on the bottom. And while doing so, I'll also disconnect the B poles, and again, I'm gonna leave that corner on for storage. All right, so now we've got our pull kit fully disassembled and off to the side. And now comes the slightly tricky part, which is folding this tent skin to get it back to a similar shape as the way it was packed in the box when it first came to you. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna zip all of the zippers back into their original position. And make sure that you have nice, clean, straight lines when zipping. If you have fabric that's kind of folded over, that zipper is not going to fold, uh, or that zipper is not going to be able to zip as easy as it did when the tent was up. So just make sure as you fold fabric over that you're getting a nice, clean, straight zipper run so that the zipper actually comes together. We're also going to fully zip up the door. Again, making sure that you have clean zipper runs. So we're just going to zip the door all the way up. So now everything is fully zipped. At this point, what you're going to do is you want to tuck the sides of the tent into itself before laying the whole thing flat. This is same with the larger tents like four by eight and five by nine. And it's also true for eight by eight, nine by nine, 10 by 10, all the way up to 10 by 20. Obviously the larger the skin, the, the, the more difficult that task becomes, but it's all the same principle. So this side, if we can get a shot on this. Has a V pattern. So this V with a one vertical seam going up is how it folds together. So we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna take this corner. And as you can see, when I fold that, and forms a triangle in the back, or actually forms a triangle on the side, and then laying one side down. If you've had your tent up for a while, you probably won't see these creases anymore, but what you wanna do is form that V and then knock one side in, just like that. And then you'll come onto the other side and you'll do the same thing. 
which is take the two corners Here's that same V pattern. And knock the back in. So you can see how folding it with those tucked V's has allowed the whole entire tent to lay flat. You will see small puffed up sections where those ducts are, but that's no big deal. Once you have this flat on the floor, what we typically do is we'll fold it once that way. Then, just like as if you were folding a tarp, You'll fold it pretty much in quarters. Of the way the tent came. The roof is going to be folded in a similar fashion. What you're gonna do is put the roof upside down and the same principle that the sides had is going to apply for the roof where that V shape that you tuck in is gonna allow the roof to sit more or less flat. Same thing here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it and then I'm going to fold this also over in quarter folds. That pretty closely matches the bottom. And this should be able to go back into the bag that came with the Gorilla Grow tent. Spill pool is gonna follow a little bit different because you don't have really anything to fold in in terms of the corners. On this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half. Same principle applies for wanting it to be as flat as you possibly can. And then we are going to fold this in the same way. And there you have a five by five folded up ready for storage. If you still have the original box, what I usually do is I lay the poles in the box first as flat as I possibly can and as even across that box. Then I'll put these components back in. If the fold job that we did on these is a little bit too tight, what you can do is skip the step that I had where I folded it in half and then quarter folded it. And you can just kind of leave it at its full length quarter fold it like that and then it'll fit on the full length of the box. I like to have a little bit more compact uh, folds uh, such as that. And then your Gorilla Grow Tent is uh, ready for storage. And hopefully it won't be there long because we want you guys growing and we want these tents to be up with plants in them and growing. But if you need to, that's how you store a Gorilla Grow Tent. Mm -hmm.